guys welcome yeah. back to my channel if this is your first time seeing me hi my name is cookie and if not hi you are very welcome and you're a vip today's video is very different i have all my girls here and you know they're just going to answer some questions that i feel like a lot of people have they're going to introduce themselves first and then we're going to talk about a lot of things so yeah okay so you guys are going to forgive us because like we've had a long day but it has been fun but a long day nonetheless so yeah we're going to just start so, hi guys my name is Kuti. hi guys my name is Tracy. hi guys my name is claire hi guys this is Winnie. hi guys this is grace <laughs> her name is grace <laughs> and your my name is jane <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Makabali. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that you all know their names, something I want to tell you is that all, not even one, not two, every single one of these beautiful girls that you have seen have been abroad educated. These girls have, That's so, awesome. you know, in the United Kingdom, they have they have an education, not just one degree, two degrees. And did they hold some yeah. of them? Some of them distinctions. It should mm -hmm. not all of them. So we are just waiting. We are just still a wait. So at some point, some of them have graduated from like universities in the UK, and some of them are still waiting to graduate. So the questions I'm going to be asking now are questions that you may want answers to. I'm also going to be asking some like you know, women girl centric questions as well. The first question, do you think your master's was worth it? So, I went to Nottingham Trent University and I studied, <laughs> I studied IT security. Mm -hmm. um, I think the tuition fee was around maybe 15 to 18 pounds. 18 pounds. Pound, 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 sorry. Okay. But um, yeah, I would say it was actually worth it. But, okay, yeah, why, do, why do you think it was worth it? Because so like my undergrad, I did like um, computer science and then take CISO. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you <to> ask me <laughs> off. So I think I was trying to like um, I like I did computer science, but I didn't really have working experience. So this course I did, that is um, IT security, helped me to be able to like um, I don't know, just venture into what I really like. I don't know how to explain it, but I think it was yeah. really worth it. Okay, so. I went to University of Nottingham. I did a master's in human rights law. My tuition is about 12,000 because I got a partial scholarship. So was it worth it? Yes, because I didn't have, I didn't build as much work experience during my first degree. But during my master's, I did a placement during the master's year. So I was doing like while studying at the same time. And now I work in the same field from my placement. Okay. Full time. Yeah. I'm currently, I haven't graduated yet, but I'm currently in Northumbria University and I'm studying international relations, conflicts and security. Uh -uh. <laughs> in my undergrad, I did economics and I wanted to like go into public sector properly. Uh -huh. So I went to study international relations. <laughs> my social fee is from like ranging from 15k pounds to 18k pounds was the masters worth it honestly i don't know at this point i'm like i don't think so because it wasn't what i was expecting uh -huh. now that they're, they're more eurocentric it's supposed to be like international yeah yeah like more yeah. well but now they are like in fact they want to be uk Europe. centric <laughs> still because because of the whole brexit thing yeah so now, they are mostly UK centric and we don't do all this model UN discussion yeah, at okay. all. We are just doing weapon of mass <laughs> destruction. <laughs> yes, weapons of mass destruction, Iraq and Ukraine, Ukraine and Russia, Russia, Russia yeah, yeah. all that stuff. So I just think um, they didn't give us room for placement to really go into the public sector, do you guess? So yeah. I don't know if it's worth it. If you say you want to be an analyst or maybe a policy analyst, we don't do that a lot. They just come to class, tell us about weapons and go. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, 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 and at the point, I'm like, what am I doing here? Do you guess? So yeah. I'm not so sure at this point. But, yeah. but we move, we move. Okay, I'm going to first of all say that I'm a, the remaining one of us like is really public health. I did um, my master's in public health from the University of Sunderland. Undergrad. Um, undergraduate from the University of Lagos, guidance and counseling. While I was doing my undergraduate, I was working with um, Lagos State Ministry of Health. 
like oh, under their particular sector. So like I had like had five years experience at twenty three. I started working since I was seventeen in public health. So like yeah, I kind of knew what I was doing. So it wasn't hard for me to get a master's degree in public health. So that's it. Um, right in UK, right? I don't know if the experience is the same for my sisters here, but you know they will talk. But all I can just say is um, expectation for public health is a little bit below par right now. Like. Honestly, I know what my degree will get me in Nigeria. This is not saying that oh Nigeria is better. That's not what I'm saying. But for the kind of for the importance or for the kind of degree like you have here, it's a lot. It's hard to like now come to where you are literally begging for the work. I know you people. Oh, for the game, like probably on the It's just I, I mean, well, I mean, it is what it is. Like. We're still on it. Like I cannot say right now if my degree was worth it or not. At least I have the degree now, so maybe yeah, yeah what it is worth it. But I mean, to what now see what I will use the degree I do now in this country, I never know. Do. But okay. we're getting there. <laughs> but also, what was your tuition range? Oh, my tuition range was it's supposed, it was supposed to be fourteen thousand, but um, I had um, one five off my tuition and I had scholarship um. Accommodation scholarship, so I didn't pay for one year. No period, because so it's giving educated. Period. <laughs> yeah, I studied at Bedfordshire University, uh -huh. Luton. Um, well, it was fun for me because um, I met few right. of my friends yeah. there, yeah. and um, it was really fun. Uh -huh. Like we had lots, of, lots and lots of activities, uh -huh. and also our lecturers as well. They were actually really cool. And my tuition was quite affordable. Mm -hmm. I think mine was like almost fourteen thousand. Mm -hmm. Okay. In terms of um, public health, they're more like voluntary, mm -hmm. like because they tell you if you do more volunteer um if you volunteer more, oh, yeah. you get opportunities for job and also they can aid for them to actually sponsor you as well. Wow. Okay. So um, currently, I'm trying to do some outreach mm -hmm. with Noah. Who is um, it's an enterprise in Luton. Okay. They're outreach workers. Like they help mostly mentally ill people, people yeah. on the street who are homeless. Okay. Give them food, you know. Then put their data down. Like we're actually helping them. And also um, St John's Ambulance, where I got my training from as well. It's actually it give us more skills and more knowledge in public health as well. So it's actually really fun for me. I would say I, so, I love the course. So it was worth it then, like yeah. the tuition and everything? Yeah, it was worth it. Okay, that's okay. fine. So I studied um, master's in public health at University of Bedfordshire uh -huh. as well. What was your undergrad? My first degree was in pharmacy from Unilag. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. I worked for it three years. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um I chose I chose public health because basically I wanted to I didn't want to do front end patient facing healthcare. I've always been passionate about healthcare. That's really what I want to do or what I've always wanted to do. So I done pharmacy practiced patient facing. I've done hospital as an undergraduate community. Um, I've done the um, like Ministry of Health like admin. So I was like okay. Uh, to try something else. And public health just gives you that you're still in healthcare, but it just sort of um, broadens the opportunities you can explore. You can decide to go into epidemiology, you can decide to go into statistics in health, okay. you can decide to still be patient facing, doing outreaches and consulting with patients, and, and you can also work in um, policy. So it just would, I felt it was going to give me this range of opportunities to choose from i haven't yet explored it we just finished in november and, and this is january now this is yeah. january. well i got a job with a six-month contract with the nhs as a prescription clerk which is more in the pharmacy mm -hmm. line so i took that because i'm still considering oh, am i going to do my pharmacy conversion program and be mm -hmm. a pharmacist here mm -hmm. but it's looking like i'm not interested <laughs> <laughs> but i still want to be in healthcare which is where the public health comes in for the tuition was about fourteen thousand mm pounds. -hmm. Was it worth it? Mm -hmm. I feel like we focused too much on COVID. There was just so much talk mm -hmm. about COVID, which I felt very 
very annoying. It wasn't the public health I was uh-huh, looking uh-huh. forward to, but I sort of understood, uh-huh. like, yeah, the, epidem- the pandemic and uh-huh. everything. Yeah. But it was it was a lot of COVID. It was quite annoying. It was very, very annoying. There was so much other um, public Things health explore, issues we could yeah. have explored and addressed and gotten to learn about. But the the experience was quite good. The, the lecturers were very, very supportive. Uh-huh. They were very open. You can approach them. It was really nice, which was... A massive shift, considering where we're coming from. <laughs> Extremely massive shift, I have to say. Can I ask you a question really quickly the, to the um, girls that study public health? Do you think? Because I always say that I would advise that you have like a professional course as your undergraduate before you come in as public. Like she has pharmacy. Mm-hmm. The public health is not coming through now. She's doing something in pharmacy mm-hmm. and is still working in that. So do you yeah. think that? Is a good advice to say yeah. have a professional course yeah, before you come and do it. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like public health is just broad. Like everybody, yeah, everybody, yeah. Yeah. everybody does. Can do public health. I feel like even if you need every, they are all public, public health, health. Yeah. yeah, like different. Even things. if you don't have like a professional degree, one thing I've noticed about the UK. They want to see that your history, you have been doing something, yeah. 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 developing yourself, that you've been working, schooling, yeah. doing something. You can't, you it's so crazy that you are applying college. for... As long as you have history. I, I know someone who didn't get master's admission uh-huh. to a UK school here because she couldn't explain what she had been doing yeah. for the past yeah. couple of years. Just, like, yeah. She couldn't explain those... They want you to be able to tell a story as you to why you're interested able to, in what, uh-huh. what they want. They don't want like an idol person. Idol, idol yeah. person. Yeah. Right? So for people like who are still like back home and whatever, just find something to do, no matter how busy. They want to know that even if the jobs are not really there, you were intentional about yeah, being what busy, doing, being productive yeah. and developing yourself and stuff like that. So that, that, that always comes true. Yeah. Yeah. I studied at the University of North yeah. yeah. And the fees was about, yeah, thirteen to 14,000 pounds. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, it was public health as what? well. My background was microbiology. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, the me. motivation for public health, I don't even know why. I know I was watching, I was, I was reading something somewhere on YouTube, or, and the girl was Jeez. talking about public health. How should they manage her somewhere in a hotel? Mm-hmm. And it's public health, so she's involved in, like, environments. Like just different things concerning public health. Will I say the degree is useful? Yes, but on the other hand, I think experiences, like Claire said, in this country, they're really big on experience. You know, I'm I'm currently running as a band two occupational therapies. I did public health. So I don't even know, but they just want experience. When we're doing the trust training, people are there saying, I've been in the kitchen for twelve years. I've been teaching these. I've been a dog carer at this, and all of that. That. There's nobody that has done like proper degree degree. Uh-huh. It's all experience. Uh-huh. So I just feel like it's experience that will get you in there uh-huh. and your degree is a bonus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So you both know me, but if this is your first time seeing me, I went to Nottingham Trends yeah. and I studied molecular microbiology. My <laughs> and I had a placement year, which is what I am I'm going to my placement year ended in December, so I'm going to graduate in May or April. I'm not even sure. And my film, I think my school has forgotten me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, we have to not much. Uh, we have to cover. And no, for real, period. And um, my my undergrad was microbiology as well, same as Ruth went to the same uni. And was it worth it in terms of like academics? I <laughs> in terms of <laughs> no, in terms of academics, right? Like I paid around. 12,000 or lesser because I like I got um, a, a tuition scholarship like part scholarship but um <laughs> Will I say it was worth it in terms of like academics? Considering that you know, I'm not really crazy about like microbiology. I can work in a lab I've worked in labs before but like all the experience I have like most of it Well, I'll say 50 50. I have a lot of marketing experience in terms of like academics, I genuinely don't think that, you know, I'll say, wow, it was worth it because of this course or anything. No, it has given me experience, but no. I would say, however, in terms of changing my life, because if you people saw me, <laughs> I don't even mean like 10 years ago, five. No, no, no. I'm saying, if you saw me in 2020, I was in Ibadan. Like, I'm not insulting people that are living in Ibadan or anything, but like my life now, is so different in terms of like the people I've met, the experiences I've had, the things I'm able to afford for myself, like the la- like my quality of life, that's what I'm trying to say. My quality of life is different because of this master's. 
so in some ways yes it was worth it but in other ways that maybe you be expecting me to talk about like in school and everything did it open my research brain yes because um it was every day yes they cry the right out but yeah like it's 50 50 for me like i don't think it was worth it in terms of like academics because <laughs> but also in terms of like just quality of life it was very very worth it and like yeah so the next general question I want to ask on this topic is if you had the opportunity to start afresh, if you guys had the opportunity to start afresh, will you do the exact same thing? Will you <laughs> will you go to the exact same school? Start afresh from where? Masters? Yeah, or like no, 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 from masters. Yes, yeah. Will you do the exact same thing? I would, I would, okay, I would, I would come to this uni mm -hmm. and I would do, I would still do public health because in this particular unit, they've got vast um, like units mm -hmm. and they've also got like flexible teaching, you know, the time is it will be very balanced for you and your work and whatever mm -hmm. you want to do. And then the lecturers will help you that there are a lot of freebies, you know, free access to these, mm -hmm. free communication, whatever, but like the, the, the lecturers, they will really help you and yeah, I'll come back to the uni and I'll also do the course. <laughs> would you come back to would your you, uni? To this particular uni and mm -hmm. this particular course as well. Well, the course definitely it's what I've, I've always wanted to write from undergrad. I knew I was going to do public health. That's mm -hmm. it. Um, that's that's that one. There's no question about that. But this uni. But for the uni, I I personally chose the uni because it was close to my sister's place, and I wasn't going to make <laughs> accommodation. Okay. Honestly. Come As, to university why. and best for shares. Nice. But <laughs> please run me my check. <laughs> I'm sponsoring people. Like best for share you need. What's popping? If, <laughs> if I'm going to make that decision with the knowledge I have now, I would come to the same uni because I have made amazing, like lifelong friends. Mm -hmm. Um and the Nigerian community for my class it was amazing yeah we, it was it was it was amazing like i didn't even feel like i didn't i didn't have i wasn't really missing home maybe a few yeah. people at home but i didn't feel like i was not in nigeria, nigeria yeah, yeah, yeah like we definitely have nigerians here and then it was it was an amazing experience to be honest <laughs> i actually attended this uni because i tried to tell my agent when he was actually looking for a place for me to just leave Nigeria, I told him, look, even though it's on my border, <laughs> so I, just, yeah, I just want love to leave love Nigeria. Nigeria. Because, like, I mean, I thought I it was passion because she did public health. I did yes. public health. Really? Yes. Yeah. Well, Wait, it was did like the metro or something similar. Oh, no, it was, okay. no, I did, I did public health key. as my... Um, mm -hmm. oh, yes. So you just wanted something that you already know about. Yeah. And, just enter yeah. and you know, yeah. also, I just wanted to leave Nigeria. Oh, look. I went to an expensive school. I went to Madonna University. Yeah. I finished my school on time. Okay, after school, went for service. There was no job. So it was really annoying and it was really frustrating. Yeah. Because anywhere you go to the hotel, you are almost... 10 years experience. Thank you. 10 years experience. And see, you better go buy a job. You better ah. go do... Do you understand? Like, yeah, like... Because I really wanted to do something that was going to like, you know, educate me and yeah. also fetch me good money. Good money, yeah. So it got to the price to my agent, look, even though it's on my border, <laughs> and you see you need. Period. I just want to You get, so, and I was very happy. He actually got bed for sure, and it was quite easy. Uh -huh. I did the credibility interview. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I got friends from afar yeah. as well. Amazing. So, yeah, amazing friends. <laughs> so as soon as I, I, as soon as I came <laughs> to school, um, I was far back. You know, but with your help, you just like all of us were able to make distinctions. Thank you. Distinction based. Okay. Oh, thank you very much. So, thank we're you. going to. What's the now? I'll do public health again. Okay. That's all I've known in my life. I started working since I was 16. Like, uh -huh. Honestly, there's nothing else I know. I definitely not Sunderland again. Not because the school is bad, not because the trials are bad. Everything was good. Everybody were nice. You know, it was. I like the system of teaching and all of that, but it was just my thing. Like me, I like to work out about. And before I land in Sutherland, because I'm coming to somewhere of five yeah. hours, seven hours, I'm you just already. Not go, yeah. So yeah, so I would rather like come stay somewhere closer to the world. You get me? Not <laughs> Sutherland, but yeah. yeah. Sutherland so is a very cool school, by the way. If you want to go. Yeah. This yeah. question is just too personal because people on the ground that we not do <laughs> No, please. please. <laughs> Sorry. I just want to tell you people that like I went to the same uni with Claire oh and you and the one of the only one of the many things that I, I remember from Claire in undergrad was that consistently saying 
I don't know who said this is the economy. <laughs> I don't know who said this is the economy. I'm not saying Claire. Uh, are you planning econometrics? You say wait till you that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What's the fuck? The walk of career. It's been a very long road. And to be honest, I'm so confused. Or, in fact, I've been so confused and I'm literally still confused mm-hmm. because you guys, anything you want to do, just be doing it. Don't let anyone talk you out of me. You know, it's not like for you. I have to perspire her. I require her to wire. Or you will just keep fighting for that thing you want. If not, you will just have regret. So, so what did you want? What? Yes. From secondary school, yeah, I only to go to med school. Like, mm-hmm. it did not work. I did, I wrote the jam 2014, 15, 15. <laughs> and when I was frustrated now, this is biotech or microbiology, <laughs> biochem, <laughs> all of them. Yeah. None, then I just did, I just frustratedly went to a cons. In fact, I went to account <laughs> first. Yeah. Boring. Then I went to a horns. In fact, I even had to pitch to Sister Gloria for blessed <laughs> memory why I was converting yeah. from science to, to social, social science. science. Yeah. So, but like that's range though. Imagine. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I will change from undergrad. Yeah. Let's not talk of the masters because it's not even mastering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll probably just branch into the health policy part, part of okay, public yeah. sector. Okay. I don't know whether I'll find my bearing. <laughs> <laughs> Save my life. <laughs> you get this. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. So, I would hundred percent do the exact same course. I always knew I was going to do a masters in human rights, so because I love law, I love human rights. Human rights. Um, since forever. Yeah. Now, would I do at the same school? I think because like it's Russell Group, people respect me for it. Mm-hmm. Like after, but during I did it during like in the midst COVID. of COVID. Mm-hmm. So I feel like I didn't get the full experience uh-huh. and I think about that all the time like I didn't enjoy it at all at all I was in a new city I didn't undergrad in Portsmouth Uni so I wasn't like new to the UK I'd been around already uh-huh. but I was alone in a new place in lockdown then I left for like six months of my course I was uh-huh. back home doing online I just hated the whole experience but i think it's the outcome that it's like okay i did this because you know baby trace wanted to do it so uh-huh. i did it baby trace but, <laughs> but yeah would i do it again i don't know maybe in different terms but that was beyond my control so, so yeah. yeah i'll definitely do like my course again just because um i think we all know that like it is it now it's like the you know uh-huh. so i'll definitely do that again but like as of going to my school no because <laughs> no, was strong. I no. was very passionate. <laughs> because yeah. like from the on start, I think when I was looking for a school, the thing was I wanted to like go to school in January. Uh-huh. So most of the schools that like had IT security uh-huh. or cyber security or whatever, they didn't have like start dates in January. Most of them started like in or like they had start dates for like September uh-huh. or something. So yeah, it was like Nottingham trends that had um start dates in January. So um, yeah, that's why I picked that. And also, I'll say, like what she said, because we started when it was COVID. So I'll not say, like, I really got the whole... Full experience. Yeah, full experience. Because, mm-hmm. like, even just being able to, like, meet friends at then, like, even talk to my classmates was just really <laughs> difficult. difficult. <laughs> like, then, like, if you don't message anybody, nobody will message you, that kind yeah. of thing. So it was just really difficult. I remember then, like, I used to always cry because, like, it was just hard for me when I started, but eventually I got used to it, and yeah, I made amazing friends Friend. at the end of the day. Yeah, I think that's really good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, I feel yes, I'll do the exact same course only because of the placement. Yeah, there's nothing like honestly, there's nothing. I didn't. I just wanted to relocate, and I knew that I wanted two years because I felt that like one year was too small for me to like figure out things and like sort out my life even like at the at almost the end of the two years i still they look around like it's still me that is there shining my eye but yes i guess i'll still do it again because it changed my life literally like literally and figuratively like i know no for real because i don't know even like in terms of like respect from like family boundaries just there's so much and there's so many things that i'm just grateful for because i've grown a lot Mm almost the amount of adulting that i've had to do Mm -hmm. just from this masters alone 
ah god like i've always been like very independent like this master has really like gave me wings like i'm never going to lie it's, it's what has brought me here it's what has made me meet all these people all these girls that you know they're giving educated they're giving beautiful <laughs> <laughs> so yeah like that's it though and thank you for watching this video we're going to still like answer a few questions about other things but you're going to have to watch those other ones i'm going to try to separate it into like topic by topic no matter how short they are so yeah thank you so much and we'll see you guys in the next question once we answer bye, bye. <laughs>